Welcome to the third lecture in the series of lectures group action. In this lecture we will uh, see a relation between group action and the symmetric group of the set on which group is acting. So let x be a set and sim x denotes the symmetric group on x means sim x is the collection of all bijective maps from x to x and this is a group with respect to composition of map. So suppose uh, this denotes the identity element and actually identity element is the identity map in sim x. So take any x1 in x and if you operate identity element on it we will get x1 and this is same for any x in x if we will take then identity element when you will operate we will get the same element. Now take two element f1 f2 in sim x suppose f1 is moving x to y and f2 is moving y to z then when you will operate f1 f2 both on x then what will happen is that so f1 when we will operating x is moving to y and when we will operating f2 y is moving to z so when we will operate f1 and f2 together then x will move to z and when we, when we will operate identity on any element x1 it will remain fixed so it is very natural now if you write these things together then identity operating on x is x and f1 is operating on x and then f2 is operating on x is same as f1 composed with f2 is operating on x group action is nothing but generalization of this property Suppose we have a set X and a group G and we have a map a star from G cross X to X and this is necessary because there should be a relation between G and X. Now put a star here. So identity is operating on X means we are getting X. Put a star here and here. So G1 is operating on X and then G2 is operating on G1 star X. It is same thing as compose G1 and G2 and operate it on x so we can say that group action is nothing but a generalization of the behavior of sim x on x now define a map suppose gx on capital x then define a map phi from g to sim x as phi g is equal to fg where fg is a map which is defined as fg x is equal to g star of x of course fg from x to x is a map but fg should be an element of sim x so we need to show that fg is bijective so let us check fg is 1 1 how take two element x1 x2 in x fg of x1 is equal to fg of x2 then g star of x1 is equal to g star of x2 now operate g inverse on both sides so we have g inverse star g star x1 is equal to g inverse star g star x2 now by the property of action we can write it like this where this is the operation of the group so here in between g inverse and g there is operation of the group capital G but we know g inverse e is identity so it is e star of x1 is equal to e star of x2 but e is fixing x1 and x2 so we have x1 is equal to x2 this shows that fg is 1 1 now we want to show fg is on 2 so take x in x then if we determine the image of x star g1 then it is g star g inverse star of x so it is g g inverse of x so it is e star of x so it is x 
so given an element in x we got its pre-image so means this map is on to so fg is a bijective map so it means fg belongs to simx uh, it means uh, whatever we have defined is correct so we have a map phi from g to simx sending each gene fg each g to fg now we will show that this map is a group homomorphism now take g1 g2 two elements in the group g and uh, to show that this map is a group homomorphism we need to show that phi of g1 g2 is equal to phi g1 composed with phi g2 but uh, phi of g1 g2 is uh, f of g1 g2 and uh, this is equal to f of g2 composed with f of g1 so let us check so for x in uh, capital x actually we need to show that these two maps are equal and maps are equal if and only if their images are equal at each of its point so take a point x in x and let us determine its image then f of g1 g2 of x is equal to g1 g2 star of x by definition of action it can be written as g1 star g2 star of x but uh, this by definition of fg can be written as fg1 operating on, on operating on g2 star of x so it is fg1 fg2 of x by composition of map it can be written as fg2 composed with fg1 operating on x and this is true for all x and maps are equal if and only if their images are equal so we can say that these this map and this map are equal f of g1 g2 is equal to f of g1 and composed with f of g2 so it means these two maps are equal so means f phi of g1 g2 is equal to phi g1 oh phi g2 since phi is a homomorphism so phi g will be a subgroup of simx this symbol means subgroup of simx okay so we got a subgroup of simx and because it is homomorphism we can also determine the kernel of this homomorphism so what is kernel of phi so phi from g to simx and the kernel of phi by definition is the collection of those g in g such that their images are identity so phi g is identity phi g is identity mean for each element when we will operate on it it will give us x itself so fg of x should be x so g star of x should be x for all x in x oh but this is the stabilizer of the action so this is the stabilizer of the action now what we have g is a group and we have another group symmetric group on x this is the set x take any element g in g x here we operate g on x we reach to g star x from g via phi we can go to phi g phi g is fg now because this capital phi g is a subgroup of simx so it has a natural action on this capital x and that is the image under the map of this so fg will operate on x so we will take the image of x under fg that is fg of x but by definition of fg x fg x is same as the g star x so both are equal so this means this g is operating this is small g is operating on x is same thing as fg is operating on x so behavior of g on x is same as behavior of phi g on x so studying of g on x is same x studying of phi capital g on x
so actually the group action is generalization of the behavior of simx on x but any group action can be seen as phi g is operating on x so thank you and uh, in the next lecture we will see a relation between orbit and stabilizer and orbit and fixed point thank you